Okay, today's warm up. Identify the slope as positive, negative, zero, or undefined. As you can see, if you go from left to right, the slope is actually going in a downward trend, so this would be a negative slope. Number two, identify the slope. We need to find two points that hit the crosshairs. If you look, let's see, here's one here and another right here. So, you see it going up to the, f the second dot and then over until it touches. How far did we go up? We went up one, two, three, and we went to the left, one, two. So since we went to the left, that's going to be negative two. So our slope, again, it's change in y over change in x. So we are looking at m equals 3 over negative 2. And number 3, write a linear equation. Our linear equation is in y equals mx plus b form. Our b, we're going to look for the x value that has 0, and then the y is going to be our y-intercept. So that's positive 3. So, so far we have y equals mx positive 3. Now we have to look to see if there is a constant rate of change. So on the x values, we go from 5 to 0, we're actually subtracting 5, 0 to negative 5, subtracting 5, negative 5 to negative 10, subtracting 5. Now, on the y values, from 5 to positive 3, we're actually subtracting 2. 3 to 1, subtracting 2. 1 to negative 1, we're also subtracting 2. So our slope, our change in y, is negative 2. And our change in x is negative 5, which would actually be m equals 2 over 5. So if we had to write our linear equation, y equals 2 over 5x plus 3.